Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tasha and today I'm going to be coming to you all kind of showing you something that's been requested for a while. Many of you subscribers were out there just so, so curious to see um, my makeup collection and also how I store my makeup collection. So if you're interested in seeing what are my favorite things that I keep in my makeup collection and how I store it, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay you guys, I decided to re-film and re-edit the video because it was super dark for one of my subscribers let me know so thank you very much for letting me know but this is my makeup station where I do my makeup. I just simply use my dresser and I found some wonderful decorative um, wall mirrors and um, decorations to put onto my makeup area but this gives me enough space to lay everything out and then I also use a couple of drawers to store some of my makeup which I'll talk about later but anyway let's get closer oh yeah um, basically to do my videos I film right here and I found these two simple desk lights and um, I re I'm learning how to reposition the lighting so that the quality of the videos are much better so I found those simply at uh, Walmart and the mirror I found at my local actually HEV it was only $14.99 but it's a double magnification mirror so you have a uh, basic side and a magnified side which I love so much but let's get a little bit closer um, what I have, I definitely keep in my makeup um, area, I keep some um, paper towels just for cleaning my brushes off in between um, makeup usage. And then I also have my little cleanup station, I call it here. But um, I found this really cute, um, this one I found I think at Target. I um, had that a long time, but um, anyway, I think it's cute. But I found this little guy at Hobby Lobby, but I think it's so cute. You can keep like all your Q-tips, so that's where I put all my Q-tips. You can keep like cotton balls. And just any cleaning supplies. I think I have cotton rounds in here. But anything that you need to clean and keep your face nice and clear. Um, you probably will see I have more cleanup items. My Neutrogena makeup cleanser and visine I use just for my eyes. Or I use it for like glitter liners. But over here, um, oh, that's my Sephora book. I need to work on those looks for you guys. But anyway, this is where I keep all my makeup brushes. And there will be a mixture of brands. I don't just stick to one brand. So there will be... Um, Cover FX, Sephora, Very Central brushes. I have my Sigma brushes, which I love so, so much. Um, more Sephora brushes, Sonia Kashuk. And um, these are all of my eyeshadow brushes. So they would be from Sigma. I have MAC brushes, Smashbox brushes, Urban Decay brushes. You name it, I have it. I'm just kidding, I don't. <laughs> but those are all my uh, shadow brushes. And where I found these two lovely little storage guys is at um, Office Max. It's just a file organizer. And I just took some um, base fill to put my brushes inside. I found that at um, Michael's. And then it's a great little thing where you can put some of your palettes. And this is just my uh, Coastal Sense palette that I decorated um, to get boring, so I had to decorate it. And then over here is just my makeup st little station that I keep to use my everyday makeup. So you'll see um, my concealers, my Mon stick foundation. There's all my brow stuff here. And then for everyday, I have my Smashbox uh, hybrid primer. Um, you'll see my MAC powders. These are my like my most favorite powders in Sephora. These are like things I use all the time. And then again, more brow product and um, eyeliners and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my makeup organization on top. But um, stay tuned and I'll send you to my closet. Okay, welcome to my closet. This is where I keep pretty much all my makeup storage. I had to downsize and figure out a creative way to put my makeup. So I decided to put it in my closet. So you'll see on top I have my lipsticks and lip products. Um, there's more bins here and I found these bins at my local Target and Walmart stores. So if you're having a hard time or finding a way of organizing it, use your closet space and um, put, put those in a functional way to use them. They're really inexpensive and your life is so much easier. You can just kind of go and grab your colors as you need it and you can put them right back where you got them from. But anyway, I guess you guys are probably like, well, what's all in those bins? So let's get started. I have um, this top shelf is just basically all my lipsticks from Sephora and NYX. So there's mixtures of pinks, nudes, um, all sorts of lip colors in there. Um, the second one is filled with, um, you'll see Smashbox, MAC lip colors, Benefit, Stila. It's just a mixture of, um, a brand name and drugstore products in there. And then these are all my lip, uh, liners. I don't own that many lip liners, but, yeah, that's those. This middle band's going to be more, um, like lip stains. Um, this one's going to be like my lip gloss, my tubies. A lot of those I like to travel with and keep in my purse. I want to just have a real tinted color. So you'll see some from Sephora and um, 
Urban Decay, Smashbox, and then this last one is just some lip balms and stuff like that from Tan I bought last season. And then this last one here is just going to be like my other favorite lip glosses with the paddle foot. So you see a lot of Smashbox, Lorac, um, Sugar, Fresh Cosmetics, all that fun stuff in there. And then here is going to be my um, NYX glosses that I had a recent fetish with over the summer months. They're very super duper sweet and nice shine. And then I also have some lip plumpers and other products that I use um, from Fusion Beauty. I don't know why I have lip plumpers, but I guess sometimes we want the lips to look nice and full sometimes. You're right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the second bit is just going to be um, some random shadows. So you'll see some Sephora. I have some Lorac back here. And then this one's going to be my NARS collection. I, it's a small collection, nothing really big. There's blushes and um, cheek colors. And then over here is just some more random Stila and Sephora palettes here. The second drawer is going to be all my little lip pen or my eyeshadow pencils and um, shade sticks. There's also um, mascaras I need to open up, so I might probably just give away, but we'll see. And then my liners from Urban Decay and Kat Von D and all that fun stuff there. Um, this last one is just some of my primers I keep back up in my Smashbox. That's my newest favorite. And then, y'all, this is my favorite. I cannot be pop this, but this is my Hello Kitty. I just love Hello Kitty. And just some uh, MAC shadows I need to get to and try. I haven't depotted these, so you'll see a lot of undepot or not non depotted shadows. And then this one here is just basically some of my nail polishes, some of my nail art products that I use for manicures and stuff. So that's why I use this little wicker basket I found at Michael's and then or actually I found that at Walmart and next shelf is just going to be more of my lashes from Beauty Supply Store, I Heart Red Cherry, all that fun stuff there and this is in my drawer where I keep pretty much all my like loose pigment products so I'll have like Berry Essentials, there's some Urban Decay if you guys remember when these came out last year and then I'll have um, here's my MAC pigment and um, there's also some more loose shadows from Benefit and um, Lorac, and then my Beauty from the Earth samples that I got, and then I also have a lot of, um, or I purchased some Raven Beauty products, and you guys will see more of a review. Um, she was so kind to send me some shadows to show to you guys, so love those products. And then in this drawer, just some more random um, shadow palettes like Cargo, and then we have some Urban Decay, and then I have some NYX, Lorac palettes, Smashbox palettes. That was to support breast cancer, so I had to get that one. And over here is just more of my nail polishes, y'all. These are all of my, my um, China Glaze, and uh, let's see what else we have. Orally, um, OPI, Sephora polishes in here. So this is kind of where I keep my polishes so I can find something else to store them in. And last but not least, this is my last unit, and this is basically filled with like my complexion products. So you'll see, like, I still need to do a review for you guys for the um, Makeup Forever foundations. I have some um, Benefit powder foundation, my matte that I need to review for you guys, and then I have some Urban Decay, and then also some of my other Mac and Stila foundations and some backup other brands, Cargo. So I like to use a lot of brands, you guys. I just don't like to stick with one. It's fun. These are just my backups of my um, primers I like to use from Smashbox. Um, some jewels I use for decorating my face. And then last but not least, these are just my blushes. So you'll see a mixture from Cargo, MAC, Too Faced, um, Lorac, and then I have some also some um, uh, Tarte, Benefit, just all sorts of fun stuff. Steel or Sephora and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much all of my makeup collection there. So stay tuned. I'll show you just a little bit more. And I'll be right back.